there will be a moment. This is profound. It's so profound. The whole episode is very profound. I just hope it's reaching people that it can help. And if this did help you, please tell me. And, uh, you know, especially if you're a kid, like a high school kid or college kid, it would be really, it would be great to me. I don't know that I reached many young people. I was recently in Raleigh and my friends, like I bet a bunch of college kids will come out. And I said, I bet they won't. Uh, my audience are, are people like myself that are shot. Um, you know? Yeah. It's the way it is. I'm connecting with people who not only feel like the end is coming, but welcome it with open arms. <laughs> they, they welcome the end of this human experiment like a puppy at Christmas. Now, There'll be a moment when you go Thanksgiving Eve, you'll come back from college. Maybe you'll go to college or maybe like me, you'll be a man and you'll sell. I was a mortgage man. You'll, you'll come back Thanksgiving Eve and maybe it doesn't happen the first year, but usually it's not too soon after that. It's the second year. You'll be standing there and it'll be Thanksgiving Eve and you'll realize that something's off. Something is wrong. Something doesn't make any sense. And it's nothing that you're doing and it's nothing that anyone else is doing. The reality is it's like the, that, that shitty movie Stephen King made, The Langoliers. I think it was a TV movie. Mm -hmm. They keep, they go through some time warp and they land in like LA, but it's like a few minutes before when it's supposed to be. And everything looks the same except nothing has an echo and the food tastes weird and it's like, it's the same but different. And they realize that the thing that explains that is time. Time is profound. Time moves things. So you'll be some bar and you'll be looking at all these people and you'll go, oh, fuck. I'm not supposed to be here anymore. I'm in the wrong time. I'm in the wrong dimension, whatever. Like Jess Reed's got me talking about dimensions. But you'll realize that and then it will be time to move on. It'll be time to move on and get a new group of people. And this is what happens. And this will probably happen throughout your life to an extent until you find people you really love and appreciate, you know? Until you find... Your close family, your friends, your your business people, the, the people that whatever. Until you find them, you're going to keep having that moment when you look at a group of people and go, fuck, I'm done. If you're going somewhere, there's some people that have the same friends for their entire life, the same four or five friends. That's very charming. That's not going to be the experience of anybody that wants to truly make anything happen. If you truly make anything happen, you're going to have this time and it's Thanksgiving Eve is a great way to explain it, but it'll happen over and over again. When you look at a group of people that you were enamored with, you love and, but no longer really excite you and you're no longer excited to be where you are. And then you have to pick yourself up and go somewhere else. And I can't tell you when that's going to be, but if you ignore that feeling, if you stuff it down, if you shove it down and you stay, you become a loser. That's how you become a loser. That's how you become a failure. Okay? And that's the reality. So when you have that excited feeling about something you're doing or the people you're with, you're, you're moving in the right direction. And when you look at everyone else and you go, well, they're not doing anything wrong and I'm not doing anything wrong, and, but it's just not working anymore. And that excitement and that energy has died. You have to, you know, Kelly Catrone, just whatever. She was, she was on the hills, that dumb show. She was a fashion PR in New York City. Forget her. The point is, she had some, some fucking quote that I'm sure she stole from someone, but she said, if you're the, in New York, if you're the coolest person at the party, it's time to leave. I believe that to be the case. I'd rather be the loser at a table of people that have a lot more than me. That, those are the people you're going to learn from. That's what's going to be interesting. If you're the coolest person, if you're the most accomplished person, you try to get to that other table where there are people, because that's what makes life exciting, you know? And it starts in high school. And many of you, like I said, man, you're the damned. And I'll quote this again, and people go, can you go through a podcast without quoting? No, you shut up. I like this quote, okay? I don't know where it's from. It's from a play, but I don't know what they're, Referencing, I think it's Greek mythology. Many of you, if you stuff that feeling down that you shouldn't be somewhere and you stay, you will become like one of these people wandering the earth, not able to get into heaven or hell, awaiting the ferryman to take you to where you need to go. 
And if you answer that call and you know what you're doing and you feel like you're always ready to conquer the next thing, fucking, you might be Donald Trump. TimDillonComedy.com for dates. Tim J. Dillon, D-I-L-L-O-N on Twitter and Instagram. Please follow us there. Please subscribe to the podcast, rate, review, share the clips on Instagram and Twitter and everything. Facebook's a graveyard, but whatever. We need some boomers. Devin, where can they find you? YouTube.com slash Devin Costa, D-V-A-N-C-O-S-T-A. Uh, podcast on uh, Apple Podcasts. Hate that you love it with Devin Costa. And then Sebastian, he looks out. And he just fucking <laughs> takes the mic. He wraps it around his head like he's hanging himself. And he goes, hey, I'm doing an Epstein. You guys all know Epstein because you're all on his plane fucking kids. You all fuck kids. And then he drops the mic and he walks out because fuck those people. <laughs>